Hi everyone, let the here with this beautiful place tarot. How's everyone doing today? So today's reading is going to be on an alternate reality. What would you say to yourself if you either traveled in time, space, to another planet, etc.? What would you tell yourself? Okay, the reason why I um I chose this topic is because, you know, we just had the great conjunction with Saturn and um, Jupiter and the moon. And I've been having a lot of dreams. You know, if you've been on my channel before, you know, I always talk about my dreams. So welcome if you've never been to my channel, first of all. Thank you, everybody, for liking, subscribing, um, just coming to my channel. Thank you. Happy Christmas, if you observe Christmas, Merry Christmas, if you observe Christmas, for those of you that don't observe it, you're a different religion, you know, Muslim, Buddhist, Jewish, etc. That's fine. Welcome. Okay. Um, in my dreams, I can often talk to my mother who shows me where she's at in time and space. So let me give you an example. I'm the youngest of seven children. Sometimes my mom will show me apartments that my older brothers and sisters have lived in, but I wasn't even born, okay, in my dreams. So when I wake up, I get up and I tell my older brother about these dreams, and he's like, wow, there's no way you can know about that apartment. And I can describe the apartment to a T in detail. I can see the blue paint on the walls. Um... And she also tells me where she's at in time and space. So I thought this would be a cool reading for you. A cool pick a card. I wish um, I, there was some way to incorporate love into this. But we'll see. We'll see what pops out. Okay. So go ahead. Um, I also got some channeled songs. I was also hearing different songs for this. Go ahead and pick. Pile 1 is going to be this cow with wings i like this cow with wings it's kind of psychedelic yeah it's actually a pin okay pile two is going to be this heart pendant i love this heart pendant my ex mother-in-law gave me this on a necklace and i think the necklace broke i gotta get another necklace but anyway this is silver i love that necklace and then a little turtle a co-worker at my job my last job gave me this this is so cute okay so go ahead and pick and we will get started all right I'm gonna burn some frankincense with myrrh and some Palo Santo I'm gonna pray really quickly on camera and we will get started Go ahead, breathe in, breathe out. Um, you can pick more than one pile, of course. But to make it more accurate, I would probably just pick one. Thank you for the energy exchange on my page, guys. If you would like, if you got any teenagers, um, I would recommend my daughter's channel. It's new. She's only got two videos up. But her channel's name is Funky Monkey Tarot. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. So let's get started. Pile number one. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Ancestors. Please clear this space. Only benevolent spirits are welcome in this space. Please remove any malefic spirits from this space. Amen. Okay. So let's get some clarifying information for pile one, okay? Who are you? Let's see if this resonates, right? And then we'll go over the songs and the messages. Now, these are channeled messages. 
um, that are under the cards, okay? Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel. Who are the people who picked pile one? Give me some clarifying information. Oh, and I wanted to use a number of decks today too, guys. Let's see. Give me some identifying information, Spirit. Make it timeless. Let's get maybe elements, some personality traits to help the viewer. Thank you. Okay. We got here Queen of Swords. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You could be quick to cut people off. You could be logical, analytical. Keep in mind, however, the Queen of Swords is a divorcee, okay? She's usually bitter. She's a little scorned by love. And she doesn't play with people, okay? She doesn't like to get played with as well. She will cut you off quick, fast, and in a hurry. So pile one, you may be a king or a queen of swords. An Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Let's go to the next card, please. Archangel Michael, give me one more card. For pile one, alternate reality. Who might they be? We got here, Page of Cups. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You might be young. You might be an apprentice. You might just be starting out with school. Okay. You might be pregnant if you're a feminine just because of the fish. Okay. I'm hearing Pisces because of the water and the fish in the cup. You can also have brown hair. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel. Give me one more card. I'm going to tell this one. So you might be a king or a queen of wands. Aries, Leo, Sag. You might be confident. I'm getting drawn to the lions here. You might have a lion as an animal totem. You might be very action-oriented. You might have a lizard or a reptile at home. A snake, a gecko. You're very passionate and driven and action oriented. You could be a masculine or you could be a feminine. Keep in mind with tarot, we can interchange the sex. It could go back and forth. Okay, so we got cup, swords, and wands. Let's see if we get another one. Let's see if we get any pentacles. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, ancestors. Give me one card, please, on my left-hand side, spirit. Ah, four of wands again. Okay, so you might be, um, again, a queer, uh, Aries, Leo, Sag. You might be married or stable. This is also about stability. So in your alternate reality, you might be stable, is what spirit wants me to say. I'm also hearing celebration. Now, I don't remember what's under each card because I mixed them up, but we'll see. We will see. Okay. So a lot of fire, air, and water. Okay. Let's get some more information about you or your alternate reality, okay? Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Ancestors. Give me one card, please. Make it resonate and timeless. Okay, am I taking this one? No, I'm gonna keep shuffling, guys. Give me one card on my left-hand side, Spirit. So we got before the gathering. Celebration, didn't I say celebration? Anticipation, event. Okay, so you might be a feminine. You might identify with fairies. You don't have to. Okay, you might be a blonde. Again, you don't have to. This is a general reading, okay? It's not going to resonate for everyone. Celebration, anticipation, event. I'm hearing event planner. You might be somebody who 
gets really excited for events like Christmas, baby showers. Um, you might love to throw parties is what I'm hearing. You might have like a really nice big laugh. I know a lot of Aries who have really big laughs. You might also be very sexy. So you have a lot of sex appeal. Either in this reality or in your alternate reality. Two plus nine is 11. 11 reduced is a two. You might be a life path two. Very sexy. This is a very, um, I mean, you can see her breast. And in these cards, this is a uh, fairy, the fairy forest by Lucy Cavendish. This is a really great deck, guys. You may also like the outdoors. You might like green a lot. Let's do another one. I love these cards. Archangel Michael, give me one more card on my left-hand side, please, Spirit. For the alternate reality, pile one, what else should they know about themselves in an alternate reality? Okay. Ooh, the weaver. Fate, destiny, weird. Okay. So this card is about actually being weird, okay? Being different. You might be African-American, okay? You might have curly hair like this, nice full lips, maybe even colored eyes, okay? Two plus five is a seven. You could be a, a life path seven. The weaver, fate, destiny, weird. So you believe in fate, you believe in destiny. You might subscribe to a twin flame, soulmate, ideology, okay? Um... You might be a little weird, a little awkward growing up. Maybe you don't feel like even Earth is your home, is what I'm hearing from spirit. Maybe you had a hard childhood. Maybe you feel like you didn't fit in. Okay, maybe you have a lot of sadness. Okay, I'm seeing a child with a lot of sadness here. All right. Keep in mind it's a general reading. You don't have to be a feminine. You could be a masculine watching this and have all those traits. Let's do one more. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, give me one more, please. For pile one, the hippie cow. Ooh, I like this card. This is one of my favorites. The golden unicorn, protector, guardian, champion. I often get this card, guys. Okay, my light workers, you must be a light worker to get this card. You don't have to be, but... You're probably an empath, okay? Uh, you're a unicorn. You're weird. You're different, okay? In your alternate reality or here, you're a protector. You're a guardian, okay? Guardian of the galaxy, I think of when I see this card a lot of times. You're beautiful. You're majestic, okay? You have that energy, that top-notch energy, okay? You often attract narcissists <laughs> in romantic relationships or otherwise because you have such a good heart. I'm also hearing water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, you might be very sensitive. All right, you are a champion. Another seven, four, 43, this is number 43, four plus three is a seven. So you might be seeing seven, seven, seven is what I'm hearing from spirit. Okay, um... When I think of unicorns, you know, they're that mystical creature that you can't really ca capture. You know, you can't really hold down a unicorn, right? Hmm. I'm also hearing Pegasus. So you might have grown up thinking about Pegasus or loving Pegasus, all right? And that is the unicorn that can fly. So maybe you like... Greek culture, all right? You may have existed in Greece, okay? You might be Greek, is what I'm hearing from spirit. Or you may even be from like Athens, Georgia, believe it or not. So in a minute, we'll find out your songs and your reality, alternate reality. 
All right, so let's get some more identifying information, right? Who are you? I love this deck, guys. This is the Katsuni Foxfire Shapeshifting deck. If you don't know what a shapeshifter is, go ahead and Google it. If you've been on my channel before, you know I've talked about these cards before. I really love them. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Ancestors. Give me one card, please, on my left-hand side. For those who picked Pile 1, make it resonate. What is their alternate reality? Who are they? Who could they be? Ooh, hope. Yeah, hope. So this goes perfectly with the golden unicorn, okay? And I'm also getting attracted to the autumn leaves. So maybe in your alternate reality, you like fall time. I know a lot of people who do love different seasons over others, okay? Um, you might be a fox, okay? Or you may resonate with animals because the fox and the horse is here, okay? This is about hope. This is about faith. And similar to protector, guardian, champion, okay? You may know very well that that is your assignment here on this earth now. And in past lifetimes, future lifetimes, your alternate reality, you may know that you are a beacon of hope, okay? And again, I'm hearing, you know, somebody who has a very, a very intoxicating smile, okay? A very big laugh. Okay, that might be you. But you're humble, you're sweet, and you're very caring, and you're very giving. You're very nurturing, whether you're male or female. You may also like foxes. You might call yourself fox. You might have a nickname. You might call yourself foxy lady, something like that. Foxy man. You might have a tattoo of a fox. And similar to the horse, you know, the unicorn, you might be strong, okay? You might be sly like a fox, smart. You might be able to outwit other people is also what I'm hearing. Very smart. I love these cards. These cards are beautiful. Let's do another one. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Ancestors. Give me one more card, please, for Pile 1. Their alternate reality. What do they want to say to their other self? Who is this person who picked Pile 1? Make it resonate, Spirit, please. Make it timeless. Archangel Michael, thank you. Ooh, we got to dance with joy. Yeah, so you might like to dance. You might be a dancer. All right. Again, with the fall, you might like fall a lot. Again, with the fox as well. So earlier I was saying, you know, you have a big boisterous laugh, you know. You might just like to have a good time, whether in this reality or another one. You might be a little weird, but you don't mind. You might have dark hair or dark features. I'm hearing timeless beauty. Your beauty is timeless. I'm also hearing old soul. I'm hearing elegance, I'm hearing poise, and I'm hearing grace. So either your name is Grace, or you may also be a ballerina. I'm seeing a ballerina in my head, okay? You may also just be a dancer. You might like salsa, merengue, bachata, you know, jazz, hip hop, etc. You know, family parties, you like to get down. You're gonna be the old person dancing in the old folks home. <laughs> so let's see first let's do the song what song would resonate with pile one most archangel michael archangel gabriel archangel metatron archangel raphael ancestors give me one card please i'm hearing you're young at heart Give me one card, please, that will resonate the most with pile number one. Ooh, we got Nora Jones. I love this song. Hmm. I actually didn't put the name of the song on here. So, hold on one second, guys. 
I gotta put the name of the song on here. Give me one second. Let me tell you the verse. It's the frick, the f second verse. When I saw the break of day, I wished that I could fly away. Instead of kneeling in the sand, cats catching teardrops in my hand. My heart is drenched in wine, but you'll be on my mind for ever. I love this song. Um, I actually love this whole album, and I, it's <laughs> upsetting me that I can't I can't think of the name of the song. So the song is Don't Know Why. All right, don't know why. I should have put that on here. So if you've never heard the song before, go ahead and Google it, write it down. Um, it's very jazzy, it's very slow. I love the song. Um, so she sings it very slow. She says, my heart is dressed. Yeah, I can't sing y'all <laughs> just to give you a little a little uh, taste of how she sings it though it's very slow um yeah I get very emotional when I hear this song so maybe you do too comment down below let me know if it resonates for you okay all right so what is pile one's alternate reality what do they want to say to them pile one. Oh, in this reality, you are actually on another planet. I am seeing Venus. You are thousands of years in the future. You would advise yourself to treat your planet with respect. Global wa warming, excuse me, wiped out Earth along with man's greed. Your body looks different. You are skinny. Okay. You look a little bit like a gray alien, all right? And you have a big head. Now, because of the atmospheric pressure, right, your planet is very much different. Now, keep in mind, Venus rules love, okay? So, again, you might be very passionate, you know, like a fire sign. Or you could be very loving like a water sign. Venus also rules um, Taurus and Libra. So you might be a Taurus or a Libra. Or you might have it prominent in your chart. So that's what I got for you, Pile 1. Comment down below. Let me know if you like this, if you like this kind of reading. Again, I was inspired because of my dreams and because of the Great Conjunction. I'll move on to pile number two. All right. Pile number two. Put that music back on. Who might you be, Pile two? If you picked Pile two, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Ancestors, give me some clarifying information, personality traits, etc. For those who picked pile number two, please, their alternate reality. Ooh, we got here 10 of Pentacles. So Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. 
You might be a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. You don't have to be, but you might be. This is about legacy. It's about inheritance. I'm hearing family wealth. Okay, so you might work hard for your money. All right, I'm hearing the Pointer Sisters. <laughs> I work hard for my money. I don't know why I'm saying that song. That's showing my age, right? Yeah, a ton of pentacles. You might be very stable, committed, loyal. All right, and you might be all about your family. That's like the second time. That must be spirit telling me, hurry up, wrap it up, right? <laughs> like they do at the award shows, wrap it up. They put on the music. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel. Ancestors, give me one more card, please. For pile one, make it resonate. Okay, I'm getting told this one. All right, you might be a queen of wands. Aries, Leo, Sag, you don't have to be. You might have a cat. You might be a bruja. Okay, a witch. What's up, my other tarot readers and witches out there? You might also love sunflowers. Okay, you might be bold, confident. All right, a little bit arrogant, believe it or not. That's what I'm hearing. Um, you just might be confident, self-assured, you know. You know that you got it like that is what I'm hearing. Now, you could be a masculine or a feminine. LGBTQ non-binary is always welcome here. But yeah, I'm getting drawn to the yellow in both of these cards. So yellow is typically the solar plexus. All right. Your alternate reality, you might um, have a very strong I am. You know who you are. You're self-assured. One more card, please, Spirit. Make it resonate. Nine of Cups. Again with the yellow. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. I can't make this up, guys. So, Nine of Cups, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. No. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. <laughs> All right. Um... This is about wish fulfillment. Yeah, you might be okay with messing up, you know. You might be all right with, like, I'm not perfect, you know, that kind of mentality. In your alternate reality, you know, you might also be really happy. You know, you might have a lot of money. You might be very confident and self-assured, whereas here, in this plane, on this 3D level, you've never felt like that, is what Spirit's telling me, you know. And maybe that's what your alternate self, your alternate reality self wants you to know. I'm getting told to pick another one. Let's see. Three of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Yeah, you might like working with others, okay? Or maybe in this reality, you might very, be very shy. You like doing things alone. And in your alternate reality, you like working with others. Let's see what else we got. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, ancestors, please give me one card for pile two. The pendant, the heart pendant. Make it resonate, please. Make it timeless for those who picked pile two. Ooh, we got blood month. Sacrifice, offerings, decisions. Often when I see this card, I think of like interview with a vampire. How um, how the little girl looked when she wore this. She wore something similar to this. Sacrifice, offerings, decisions. So you might also like gothic, gothic things is what I'm hearing. You might also like very old things, charms, especially if you pick this. Trinkets is what I'm hearing. You might like finding things, trinkets, etc. You might be a masculine or a feminine, it doesn't matter. I'm getting drawn to this card along with the Queen of Swords. I'm also hearing majestic, magical. You may also be very royal and regal, is what I'm hearing. Hmm. 
You could have light skin. You don't have to, but you could. You might also like dark lipstick if you're a feminine. You're also very feminine in that you like wearing dresses. In your alternate reality, you may also be married. Whereas in this reality, you may not be. But you might be. Keep in mind, Ten of Pentacles is about family and legacy. Being married, being paired, bringing together your assets for one common goal. And there are pets in this picture, an old man. There is a child here as well. Because I was thinking of interview with a vampire, you might be a child. 21, two plus one is a three. You might be a life path three. That's the second three we have here with three of pentacles. Let's get another one. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Ancestors, give me one more, please, for Pile 2, the Heart Pendant. What does their alternate reality self want them to know? The Elf Queen. Wow, another queen. Introverted, what did I say? Burden, responsibility. Yeah, I'm thinking you might be a blonde with blue eyes. You don't have to be, but you could be. You're also very beautiful either in this reality or your alternate reality. You might also love red flowers, red roses, or poinsettias is what I'm hearing. The elf queen, introverted burden responsibility. Look at, she's a little sad here in this picture. She looks like she's weighed down by life. This is a number 13. You might be a life path four. You don't have to be, but you might be. You might be introverted. Maybe you don't like being around too many people. Maybe you think about your burdens and your responsibilities far too much. I know a lot of earth signs do that. They're always thinking about the bills they gotta pay and just what they need to do, the next level, their goals, etc. So don't be too hard on yourself is what I'm hearing. <clears throat> Excuse me. And when it, right as I said that, my heart and my throat chakra just like wanted to close up. You may be suffering from some form of depression. And that's why your alternate reality wants you to have fun. Be a kid again is what I'm hearing. Let's see. Let's do one more. Archangel Michael, give me one more, please. You might have blonde hair, blonde features, but you don't have to be, okay? This is a general reading, guys. If it doesn't resonate, pick another pile. Ooh, we got the wild hunt. Again, a blonde. Excitement, frenzy, journey. I felt a lot of happiness as soon as I picked this card. I felt like wild, like, oh, just throw away your burdens. Don't worry about your bills, you know? Don't be irresponsible, but just don't worry about it. You know, you got it. The I'm hearing the universe is abundant. It's infinite. It's all about the energy that you throw out. The wild hunt, excitement, frenzy, journey. You might want to get away, go away, forget about everything. Again, she's very beautiful. She's also very majestic, very regal looking. You might like the winter or snow or dark things is also what I'm hearing. And none of these pictures is the person smiling as well, I'm noticing. You're actually kind of stern is what I'm hearing. Your face is very stern resting bitch face <laughs> but here in the nine of cups you're happy so maybe in your alternate reality you're just happy whereas here you may not be 
I don't know who that's for, but it might be for somebody. Comment down below if that's you. Let's move on to the Kitsune Foxfire shapeshifting deck. If you don't know what a shapeshifter is, please Google it. Archangel Michael, give me one more card, please, for pile two. What distinguishing features or personality traits does this person embody who picked pile two? It's a general reading, guys, but please make it resonate and make it timeless spirit. Ooh, sharing your wisdom. Yeah. Because of the gray hair, you might be an old or young soul. If you're a feminine, you might like dresses or to dress up. You may also be the year of the dragon in Chinese astrology, or you like dragons or winged creatures. In all of these pictures, they are Caucasian feminines. You don't have to be, but you might resonate with that very much. Now, keep in mind, this is a shape-shifting deck. You might shape-shift into a dragon in an alternate reality. You may want to fly, is what I'm hearing from spirit. Or you may also resonate with an elf or a fairy. Or even a vampire. You might have gray hair. You might have dyed and bleached your hair. Either platinum blonde or gray. Or just naturally you've let your gray grow out. And you're okay with it. You may be Asian as well. From Asia. Let's see. Let's get one more, please, Spirit. Mmm, the richness within. And here I'm hearing abundance. Infinite abundance. This is somebody in isolation. Maybe you have dogs. Maybe you have a lot of dogs because she's there with the uh, foxes. Maybe you like being alone, secluded. You're very beautiful, but you don't like to be told that. You like for people to really get to know you, to deep dive within your psyche. I'm also hearing psychosis. So you might be a therapist, a healer, or a psychology major is what I'm hearing. You may also love to help animals. Maybe you take in strays and dogs, cats. You like to sit in reflection very much about your life and who you are. You're alone, but you're not lonely. You're okay. You're okay with where you are. Either in this reality or your alternate reality. You're fine with being you. Now you might have dark hair, dark features, very long, pretty hair. Again, you may be from Asia. You don't have to be, but you may be. You may also love being outdoors. Sitting and reflecting. Masculine or feminine. Give me one more spirit, please. Oh, this wants to pop out, guys. Ah, oh, here we go. This is a masculine. Threefold protection. You might be a water sign. You may also love mermaids. Again, we have our second three. So I'm hearing the power of three. You know, I often think of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. You might be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. You don't have to be, but you might be. 
Oh, this is actually a feminine because I, I do see the um the long hair and the breast. But again, LGBTQ non-binary doesn't matter. Okay. You might even um consider yourself non-binary. You might also believe in Atlantis. You might believe you are an Atlantean. You might also love the color blue. This is going to be a range of people for pile two, guys. Let's pick your song. Let's see what song spirit resonates the most with those who picked pile two. We got here Big Sean, <laughs> Body Language, featuring Ty Dollar Sign and Janae Eichel. He says, don't just take your clothes off. Take the problems off. Take the armor off. Take all the drama off. Let go of your responsibilities you've been holding down. Know it's a lot on your mind, but I need your focus now. Body language. So this is a fairly new song, and I actually like it because I like Janae Aiko. She's a Pisces, too. So you might be a Pisces. You don't have to be, but you might be. I believe Big Sean is a Aries. It might be an Aries or a Pisces. You know, what I what I like about this verse is that he's telling her, you know, you might have a lot of burdens, a lot of problems, but take all that drama off. And keep in mind that was on this card. Introverted burden responsibility. <clears throat> also, the video is really cool. I like seeing them kiss each other. They do like um, parodies from Jason's Lyric, Poetic Justice, um, Waiting to Exhale. It's really cute. So check that out. You might also be younger. I picked this card because I wanted it to appeal to those of you who are a little bit younger than myself. So you might be a, a 90s baby, a late 80s baby, maybe a 2000s, okay? Gen X, Y, Z. All right. Let's see. What's your alternate reality? In this reality, you would tell yourself not to worry. Wow. What a, look at that. <laughs> About money. Your time frame is the 1950s. You exist at a simpler time. A $20 bill is like having $300. JFK is president. You would also advise yourself to slow down. Wow, I can't make this up, guys. That's beautiful. Yeah, you need to slow down. That's what you would advise yourself for. I'm also hearing stop overworking, stop overstressing about money. You know, Christmas is tomorrow, guys, and maybe, you know, you have a lot of mouths to feed. You have a lot of people that depend on you and your higher self, your alternate reality self wants to tell yourself, slow down. You can't do it if you're dead. Stress is very real, guys. It's very real. You know, cardiovascular disease exists. People do have strokes and heart attacks, guys. Wow. Let's get um an advice card. Let's use the Buddhism Buddhism reading cards. Archangel Michael, give me one more card of advice, please, for pile two. I really like this kind of reading, guys. I don't know about you. Comment down below if you do. I'll do more of them. But as I stated before, I got in the intro. Um, yeah, I, I have all kinds of dreams, guys. Stuff that I have no knowledge of, you know. We got here. Discipline. 16. One plus six is a seven. A disciplined mind leads to happiness. An undisciplined mind leads to suffering. Dalai Lama. Discipline is one of the most used practical tools to reunite the mind, body, and spirit. And is encouraged in many spiritual pursuits as a way to attain ultimate happiness. So maybe you're very disciplined now. Maybe you work out a lot or you perform, excuse me. Um, 
a lot of strenuous exercise or movement with your body is what I'm hearing. You might also need a deep massage or a nice hot bath. So pamper yourself a little bit, okay, and do that. Look at the koi fish. I love koi fish. You may also have fish in your home or a tank in your home. That's beautiful, guys. I hope you like this reading. Let me know if you did, and I will do more like this. Thank you. Okay, last but not least, we got number three. This is the pile I chose because I really love this little, <laughs> this little turtle. He has glasses on. And I remember, um, my friend who gave me this, his name is Chris Ray. He's a music producer out in California. What's up, Chris? He left our job and he had it on his desk and he gave it to me. He's a Scorpio. Real cool guy. We used to sit and talk. Me, a Scorpio, and a Cancer, we all sat next to each other and we would talk about all kinds of topics. From sex to politics to religion. Don't let a Pisces, Cancer, and a Scorpio sit together at work, y'all. The conversations are real. And then under it, it looks like seashells. So I really like this. What's up, Chris Ray, in case you watch this? All right, so let's get some information about you. Clarifying information. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, ancestors. Give me some clarifying information, please, for those who picked pile number three. I'm getting told this one so nine of pentacles so you might be single independent very strong virgo taurus capricorn maybe animals and birds like sitting near you you may also have an animal totem of a bird i need to sneeze guy excuse me <laughs> oh bless me i'm blessed you may also be very blessed. You may be abundant. You may know law of attraction when it comes to money. What we resist persists. So you probably don't worry much about money. You attract it to you. You're working on your coin. You're working hard. You're working diligently towards your passion. Keep in mind, Nine of Pentacles is pre-emperor, pre-empress, guys. You're on your way to being an emperor and an empress. You're happy with your life currently. And if not, in your alternate reality, you're happy. You have no problems, no burdens. You're single, sexy, and confident. Very independent. You probably were a rebel when you were young. Maybe you got in a lot of trouble because you wanted to do things your way. Yeah, you didn't care about what other people thought about you or what other people said. You said, no, I'm going to do things my way. Masculine or feminine doesn't matter. You may also like the summertime because it looks like it's hot and it's nice outside. Let's see. Virgo Taurus or Capricorn, in case I didn't say it. One more card. Ooh. King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You're loving. You're nurturing. You're a king. You sit on your throne. You're regal. Masculine or feminine, LGBTQ, non-binary, doesn't matter. You could be a queen of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You're stoic. You don't always show your feelings, but you have them. You just know how to keep them contained. Let's go on to the next card, please, Spirit. Make it resonate, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel. Give me some personality traits for Pile 3, the turtle. 
<laughs> justice. You see how it was under the deck and I didn't take it? <laughs> and then spirit told me to take it and I didn't take it? <laughs> That's because I rebel all the time. <laughs> and it was there anyway. So justice, you might be a Libra. You might be put here on this planet or in this reality to be just, to be fair with people. I also love justice because it is our current justice system that's stolen from Egypt. Uh, I often think of Maat, right? When I see justice, karmic justice. Maat will weigh your heart on a scale with a feather. I'm hearing innocence. I'm hearing maybe you've experienced things in your life that were unjust. Maybe you have a lot of pain. Maybe you incarnated here on this plane, on this 3D life with a lot of karma, past life karma, past life debt. And you've overcome it because on the bottom of the deck is 10 of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, I'm getting told to take it. You've overcome anything bad that's been thrown your way because you have a good heart. You really want to be happy. Happy in a family. Happy wife, happy life, right? Or so they say. You may be a mother or a father. You may have a lot of kids or a child. You may be very nurturing and committed. There is the rainbow here. So you might be LGBTQ, non-binary. Maybe you're not the stereotypical norm. Man, wife. Maybe you're man, man, wife, wife. Maybe you have children that you've adopted. Let's do one more, please, Spirit. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Ancestors, give me one more card, please, for the alternate reality. What does their other self want to tell them or advise them? Give me one card, please. Ah, the sun. Leo. You might have a north node in Leo, or you might have Leo anywhere, the sun. You definitely like summer. You like sunflowers. You might like horses. <clears throat> There's a child on here. So either you are pregnant with a child or you like being playful like a child. I'm also hearing Jupiter. So you might have good luck on your side. Being that you have 10 of cups and the nine of pentacles. Yeah, I would say you have somebody in your ancestry that's looking out for you. Maybe a mother, an aunt, an uncle, a grandfather, a grandmother. You are very much loved. You're a little rebellious though. It looks like the kid wants to get up on the horse. I don't know if anybody's ever seen Gone with the Wind. That's one of my favorite movies. And the very sad part is when the daughter gets on the horse. I don't want to ruin it for anybody, but it's a great movie. If you could sit through four hours of a movie, <laughs> okay? You might like old movies, all right? I don't know who that's for, but I love that movie. I used to watch it with my mom. Let's get some more identifying information about you. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, ancestors. What does their alternate reality self want them to know? They could talk to their alternate self in another reality. What would they say to their self? Make this timeless, please, spirit. Ooh, we got fire. Abundance, peace, contentment. What did I say? <laughs> oh, I can't make this up, y'all. Look at that. What did I say? You don't have a lot of worries. You might be a masculine. You don't need to be. You might also have a very defined chin or face. You might have small eyes. You might like red or the color red or flowers. 
23, 2 plus 3 is a 5. You might be a life path 5. You don't have to be, but you might be. Abundance, peace, contentment. I do know that life path 5s are rebels. They like being out on the open road. They love music. Okay? And they hate, hate doing things against the grain. And I know this because my man is a life path 5. So Friar, yeah. Abundance, peace, contentment. You might be a Capricorn, Virgo, or a Taurus. You like your earthly things because they have earth on him. Plants, flowers, etc. You may do very well here in this 3D realm. And if not, like I said, your altar in itself wants you to know that you will one day. You're going to hold it down because you are a king or a queen. This person is wearing a crown. You will have abundance. You will have sunshine. You are loving and committed and loyal and just. You have a high moral code. You try to do what's right despite being a rebel. I love this, guys. <laughs> Like, um, I'm beaming over here. I like this type of a reading. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, ancestors, give me one more card, please, for pile three. Last but not least, make it resonate and timeless. Ooh, haha, <laughs> I love this card. The Hedge Witch. Number five again. Look at that, guys. Synchronicity. Number five. Five is also the number of change. You might have dark hair, dark features, beautiful eyes. You captivate people with your eyes. The hedge witch. Herb wisdom, secrets, hidden lore. Maybe it's been passed down from your generation. Plants, medicinal properties of plants. You might have a green thumb. Secrets, hidden lore. You're very mysterious. You're very attractive as well. You might have a dark side. You might like spiders or the unknown. You don't like telling people everything about yourself. There's a rebellious side to you. You know, I'll tell y'all one thing I like to do. One thing I like to do is to find out who gossips are in my circle. So I purposely tell them stuff that's not true. Because if somebody tells another person something that's important and hurtful, you're going to get mad, right? But if they tell somebody a lie that you made up, you know that it's false, right? So that's how I can tell who the gossips are. Because I'll tell three different things to three different people. And I'll find out who tells what to whom. Yeah, I'm a Pisces, y'all. We're very sneaky. The Hedge Witch. Herb Wisdom Secrets. Hidden Lore. You like to play games with people as well. But not to be malicious. Just to be strategic. Maybe you like to play games, period. Maybe you like card games. You like board games. You play chess. You play checkers. You play video games. I don't know who that's for. <laughs> but I'm definitely seeing it. Give me one more card, please. Archangel Michael. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the ancient. You're very wise. There's the owl here. 45. 4 plus 5 is a 9. Elder experience lessons. You might be a teacher. You might be here to teach the collective. You could be a bruja, a loa, a tarot card reader. You might be into the metaphysical. Meta more than physical. You might be into the occult, the esoterics. If you're watching a YouTube reading, you probably are. You might be ascending as well, but you're an old soul, no matter how old you are. 
You might have a five-dimensional way of thinking since birth, since young. And other people notice it. You might also love to study and research and read. I know I do. And again, the owl is nocturnal, right? It can turn its head 360 degrees. Maybe your animal totem is an owl. You might have an affinity to birds because of this bird and this other bird here. You might frequently see birds either in your dreams or in your alternate reality. You just like animals overall. And again, this figure is smiling. You are content. You are abundant. You don't have worries. The ancients, elder experience lessons. You've learned many lessons, many, many Lifetimes have you incarnated to this 3D reality, to this earth? I love it. You might have blonde hair. You might like putting your hair in braids. Let's do one more, guys. Let's get one more. Archangel Michael, give me one more, please, for pile three. <laughs> Elven touch, recovery, comeback, revival. Yeah, even when you've been left out in the cold, you know how to come back. I'm hearing that big Sean song. Every time I take an L, I'm about to bounce back. I don't want to go like that, something like that. Yep. Back, 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 back. <laughs> recovery, comeback, revival. Yeah, you know how to change yourself, how to adapt. How to manifest. You're a little bit of an ice queen even. Or ice king. You know how to be cold to people when you need to be. You also don't stress people or situations. You don't beg and you don't ask for permission. You're just you. You might be an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. Let's get some more. Archangel, Michael, Archangel, Gabriel, Ancestors. Give me one card, please, using the Foxfire Katsuni deck. LGBTQ non-binary is always welcome here, guys, in case I didn't say it. Make it timeless, please, Spirit. Give me characteristics or features. Ooh, find a place to withdraw to. Yeah. And again, we got a lot of earth on this person, right? We got leaves. So you might identify with the earth element or you may love to ground yourself out in nature. Find a place to withdraw to. You probably really like being out in nature with these cards. There's a lot of greenery here. You might be a teenager or a young person as well with this card. But an old soul, very wise. You might be ca Caucasian with green eyes. You don't have to be, but you might be. I'm also hearing Pleiadian. Let's get one more card, please, Spirit, for pile three. Give me it on my left-hand side, please. Thank you. Okay. Watch and listen carefully. Yeah. You might have dark hair, dark features. You might like foxes. Again, with the red flowers. You might love red flowers. I know I do, and I love the color red. Watch and listen carefully. Yeah, you like to watch people. I know I do. I'm a people watcher. I stay quiet a lot of times in a lot of situations because I am an empath. I've trained myself 
to purposely not put myself in situations with people. So you might like to watch and listen. You could be Asian. You don't have to be, but you might have dark hair, dark features, or brown eyes. You may also be very sensitive. Very gentle is also what I'm getting from her face. Not only are you just and loyal, but you're reserved. You know not to give yourself to everyone because you've been hurt before. I'm also hearing innocence, childlike innocence for this card. So maybe you've learned in the past not to trust everyone because you used to. Aren't these cards beautiful? Oh, I love these cards. You may also be very happy very young like let's get one more card please spirit and then we'll move on guys i'll read your song and then your alternate reality <laughs> rare knowledge if you've been watching my channel i've told you before that this is on the cover of this deck this is the reason why i bought this card deck because it spoke to me at the store and it told me, buy me. I love the color red, guys. I love it. Rare knowledge. You very much are wise. See? It's on the cover of the box. And shapeshifter kitsunis are shapeshifters. They can easily blend into anything, but they're known to shapeshift into foxes. They're usually traditionally very beautiful women. So you may be very sensitive, loving, caring, kind, gentle. But you have a fox here who protects you. You can instantly be bold and powerful and fierce. When you need to be, you know how to switch between the polarities, duality as well. So you might be a Gemini or a Pisces. Yeah, you've been hurt. You've been hurt many times, but you're resilient. You know how to get over it because you have rare knowledge esoteric knowledge wisdom things that you don't even know how you know your intuition is also on point okay let's see what your song is for pile three guys we got music soul child teach me keep in mind guys this is all about being a teacher You've had lifetimes here, not only in this reality, but other realities. Girl, I know I lack expression in showing my feelings. It took me a minute to come and admit this, but see, I'm really trying to change now. Wanna love you better, show me how. I'm trying desperately. That's verse number seven. Teach me how to love. Mm -hmm. Show me how to surrender my heart. Yeah. That's what you might be here for. Either in this reality or in your alternate reality. You might be here to teach people how to love. How to love you right. Let's see what is your alternate reality. In this reality, you are in the 1980s. Madonna and Michael Jackson Prince is playing on the radio. You play outside with your friends. You are a child. Your age is around 8 to 10. Your family is loving. 
When the street lights come on, you run home to mom's home cooked meals. Your family is loving, caring, nurturing. You enjoy your family life. I wrote this because I would run away a lot when I was young. Maybe you used to run away a lot. Maybe you didn't have a wonderful family life. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel. Give me one card, please, for advice. These are Buddhism reading cards, guys. We'll do this one. You got Dharma. <laughs> 17. Dharma can only be learned by direct experience. It educates the heart and liberates the mind. So fan. Dharma or divine wisdom is a heart and mind system of learning. With your heart open, you can be aware of the universal truths. Admits your struggle and suffering. It gives you the power to turn experiences around, knowing that there is a purpose to your life that is gently unfolding. So Dharma is the opposite of karma, guys. You are learning how to transmute negative experiences into positive ones. Rather in this reality or your alternate reality. And that's what your alternate reality wants you to know. You are wise and a teacher as well. With your heart open. If your heart chakra is closed, guys, you need to open it. Your dharma is your direction in this life. Your karma is your past life. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I enjoyed making it for you guys. Let me know if you like readings like this. This is a little bit um, different from my norm, you know, 18 plus cochina cochino readings, but I was really called to do this, so I hope you like it. All right, guys, thank you. Bye-bye.